Hey guys, welcome to Zodiac Predictions for 2024 using the symbolic star system or the what is called the Shinsha system. We're going to get right into forecast year of the wood dragon. All right, so symbolic stars for 2024, Jachin wood dragon. So this morning, um, yeah, I'm your host, Candice Berlanga, a certified feng shui practitioner, red ribbon professional with the International Feng Shui Guild, and a host of the Learn Feng Shui podcast. And that is available on learnfengshui.com and uh, on all social medias at Learn Feng Shui or Learn Feng Shui Now. All right. So just kind of diving into it, looking at 2024 year of the wood dragon. So we can kind of look at the interaction of young wood here to young earth. So young wood um, is the trigram of uh, Shin and it's thunder. It does represent a connection, a fast action, swift change, and the ability to adapt. So I think that is going to set the tone for this year. The uh, dragon here does represent uh, the gung, uh, the, or sorry, the, the, the Jin trigram or the mountain trigram. And it does represent stability, hard work, accumulation of assets, experience in your field, and even the ability to feel grounded. And so what does that mean for us for the year? Oh yeah, the year of the dragon. Uh, it is said to be also synonymous with supernatural occurrences, synchronicities, and certain zodiac signs should avoid deep meditation, which we'll get into uh, in the coming slides here. 2024 also brings an energy shift and a strong fire energy. So fire represents vision, foresight, and the ability for future planning. And when you plan ahead, you're more likely to stick to your goals. So uh, that is right in line with this energy shift of period nine is of um, having that foresight and vision for your own life. And when you have that for your life, um, these usually predictions uh, or astrology, you know, different things you watch like that can aid and guide you for planning your year and making it successful. And I think we all know the um, saying where there's no vision that people will perish because you have to have a vision for your life. Um, you know, even if it's something, you know, you might think very simple, you know, but what do you want to achieve this next year? And this forecast can help you uh, plan to get there, you know? <clears throat> and again, just kind of go back to that. When you plan ahead, you're more likely to stick to your goal. And for that, we look at what is called the Shen Shar, the symbolic stars, and these are present with that zodiac sign. So the kind of energy that is present for the year, you'll be able to see that, how the energy supports you, what actions are best to take. And I kind of break that down into categories of health, career, and relationship. And this, the information for this symbolic star does uh, come out of the Chinese, uh, what's called the Tongshu or the Ting, Tongshin. And um, I usually get this one from House of Feng Shui. It's by Master Ken Ko. And he prints one in English, like he translates it all to English. Um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't be able to, uh, f you know, translate myself um, the zodiac sign. So he has all the zodiac uh, information and all the symbolic stars here. And the way I kind of break it down is in the categories of health, career, and relationships. So I'm very grateful to uh, Master King Cohen, House of Feng Shui, for uh, doing this translation yearly because this is the third year I've done the zodiac predictions. So you do have four zodiac signs, which I'll put a link to down below. That is at learnfengshui.com backslash animal sign calculator. And that'll just help you calculate all your zodiac signs. Uh, if you don't know the hour of birth, it will give you the option to leave that blank. Uh, but for now, let's start by looking at the year. So it's the year you're born represents your friend group, social circle, and your community around you. The month represents your career, your parental relationships, and um uh, could be sibling relationships too. So the day represents health and your romantic relationships, the way you truly feel about yourself. And the hour represents children, thoughts, emotions, feelings, and if you are a boss, your subordinates. So what are your zodiac signs? Comment in the chat below if you know your zodiac signs, um, even if you just know one of them, the year you're born. So looking at the year and the month can be quite easy, but the day does require a little bit more calculation. So again, you can go to the animal sign calculator and discover that. And again, here's just a little 
a sheet here that uh, talks about how the energy impacts you depending on where it falls in your natal chart. And so if it does fall in the year, then it's going to impact that social circle of uh, friends community. If it falls in the month, it's going to impact your uh, career and you know possibly those parental relationships, sometimes your health. In the day, it definitely can impact your health and relationships. In the hour, your thoughts, feelings, emotions, more of a mental um, type thing than it would be um, any sort of like relationship. It's more of like a way you think, um, but also it could be something about your children or your subordinates. So that's how it will impact you. And for that, we are just looking at the zodiac signs. We're not taking the these this area up here into account. These are called the stem, as you can see, it's called a heavenly stem, and these are called the earth branch. So the, the energy we're looking at only impacts these zodiac signs that are present with the earth branch. So starting out with the zodiac sign of rat, um, if you were born in uh, December or one of these years or during this time, uh, you will be born under the zodiac sign of rat. And again, the day is a little bit more uh, kind of difficult to calculate. Uh, you'd have to go in and plug that calculator in. Okay, so focus for 2024 is uh, your working career. So this year you have supporting energy for promotion, recognition, and growth. Um, and you should avoid overworking and you really need to find a work-life balance. And so looking at the stars that support that uh, for health first, uh, injury. So white tiger, you do have to be cautious and be careful uh, that you just don't, um, uh, you know, you're more cautious this year because that could be more accident prone. And so try and be cautious there. Appealing head uh, does add to stress, but more about caring for a sick or loved one um, that may fall ill. And so you want to, again, kind of find that work-life balance because I, I would consider probably caring for a loved one like work, you know, because um, you are having to uh, take time and take care of them and stuff. Um, some really good stars here are going to really support your career and finance this year. So the Tai Chi nobleman does give you the ability to problem solve and it also brings helpful people into your life. Well, a golden lock brings financial gain and the general star does denote that you are an expert in your field. So promotion and recognition could be in the stars for you for the year of 2024. And uh, do be cautious though of miscommunications because of this sky warrior star here. And remember the rat does make a combination with the dragon. So uh, you'll have quite an impactful year here. And of course the uh, Tai Chi nobleman and even sky warrior here uh, could affect also relationships because the miscommunication, um, but it does give you the, with the Taiji Dumpleman the ability to right some wrongs that have been going on. Um, and so you can use it to problem solve in your relationship. And uh, the uh, notation here of the bath star does recognize a possible romantic encounter, but more of a short-term hookup and not really anything sustainable for the single rat. If you're a married rat, Take care of your relationships um, at home. All right. So if you're born in January or one of these years during the hours of 1 to 3 a.m., you can be born under the zodiac sign of the ox. And 2024 can bring you some good career advancement. So for you, it would be more about ignoring gossip and rumors and keeping up with your mental health. And so um, here, again, more psychological than anything else here. Um, so I may have meant to take that out of health there. That might not belong there, um, but it's okay. So um, again, more psychological effects. So the drape star, um, it means you can experience a sad event. And sometimes this is like more along the lines of elderly people falling ill. And then the widow star does represent females. Um, uh, I'm sorry, it represents reminiscing and causing sadness, but more for females born in the ox year. And so it just might be one of those things where you're ruminating and you're thinking about what could have, should have, and, uh, you know, might have been. And so we don't want to sit there and think about that because then that just messes us up, you know, mentally and then we're just sad. So avoid hurting your own feelings. And um Again, I meant to put that somewhere else, <laughs> probably here in career and finance. So heavenly virtue does help you solve problems, uh, prosperity and Jade Hall, uh, compensation for work and bonuses. Um, and so if you've been doing extra work or if you have some sort of, um, you know, maybe you're trying to meet a sales goal and you'll get a bonus if you meet that goal, you know, the, that it should be good for you this year, especially if it falls in your month um, or hour. 
So eight seats is career advancement and promotion also, and that could be, um, you know, this prosperity and Jade could be a more money because you are uh, advanced or promoted within your company. So it's a really good year to go for that sort of thing. The pulling saddle all represent career advancement. Um, but the one thing you do have to be careful of, of course, here is this cross shawl, the curled tongue shawl. Um, is a gossip and rumors. And then the broken star is more about communication breakdown or problems. So we want to be careful of that at work and be mindful of the way we're communicating and just ignore gossip and rumors, you know, don't get sucked into that. And then the, it could affect also your relationships because, um, you know, gossip and rumors can affect and impact your relationship. Um, so ignore that this year. And the in shot could denote um, that you have an issue with a female friend or, um, you know, somebody could possibly maybe turn on you this year and, and it might be related to these gossip and rumors. So try and stay out of that and take the high road this year. And so that is for Ox. The tiger, um, tiger can focus on traveling and it's encouraged to alleviate some depression and for work, you can actually get a nice financial payoff. So if you're born under the zodiac sign tiger, um, you are born in February or one of these years here or the hours of three to 5 AM. Okay. Funeral guest. So <clears> the <throat> health for the tiger, avoid hospitals and funerals and be cautious of accidents for you too. And sky cry, be careful about depression and feeling sorry for yourself for just being a little bit more in, like more sensitive this year. And for career finance, a sky horse does represent travel. So you could be traveling for work more this year. And it's really weird because my son has these Zodiac Five Tiger and he's already, I'm going to be traveling more this year. <laughs> it's starting even before February. And then you do have the Meredith reward, which does represent bonuses, commissions, and being rewarded for your work and just general recognition. And then there's not really a whole lot to say for relationships, but don't isolate yourself because if you do have sky cry, sometimes you, you need to feel sad. You do tend to isolate yourself. Uh, maybe not, you're, you're not feeling like being around people, but don't isolate yourself from people. Um, would be my advice for the tiger for the year of 2024. So the rabbit, uh, your focus is really going to need to be on your health and being open to criticism or slow to act and respond because you have a few different energies going on here. So if you're born in March or one of these years or under this, uh, the hour here from five to 7 a.m., you're born under the zodiac sign of the rabbit. And for you here, uh, health, sickness star, um, and it could represent a health scare or a nagging health issue. So go to the doctor and face that head on. It's, it's probably not as bad as you uh, might think. You know, sometimes we get into the thing of like, oh, I don't feel good. Something must be wrong. You know, well, nothing's probably wrong um, because you do have this heavenly doctor, which does represent a problem solving for your health issues. So facing it head on and just going to the doctor and taking care of things can go a long way for you for 2024. Don't worry about it. And this surpassing path just causes anxiety and that could be related to overthinking your health issues. And so if you had anything going on, um, it's probably not as bad as you think. You need to face that head on this year and then go blade. So these are why you have to be open to criticism and not lash out. Be careful of what you say and be kind of slow to act because this could represent just being stubborn and lashing out at others. So we want to avoid that. And we know that can impact our uh, career and relationships. And it might be because you don't feel good because of this issues here, but just try to be nice to people around you this year. <laughs> So the dragon, if you're born in April, one of these years or during these hours here uh, for 2024, your uh, focus can be taking action, going for health checkups, uh, putting yourself out there because you could gain recognition. Uh, help. Let's check that first. Hidden uh, issues. So you had to have the hidden corpse, which does represent something uh, could be um, hidden that you're just not seeing and that could impact health. And the sword edge could indicate the need for surgery. And they do say if you have the sword edge that you can go and have like your blood drawn um, if you need like an oral surgery or if you've just needing like some sort of 
um, any sort of surgery could be laparoscopic. Maybe you get LASIK surgery. It's actually a good year to plan that because then you plan your surgery and it's not thrust upon you, I suppose. A career in finance would be golden carriage. So you could get financial recognition and gain this year of the Duke's arrival um, because that is this uh, uh, dragon is the governing energy for 2024. Obviously, it's the year of the wood dragon. And so anytime that happens, there is more attention on you, but um, it also could mean a problem solving helper. So if you've had issues with stuff, it's one of those stars that could turn um, some negative things into positive and it could uh, help you along there with some problem solving. Elegant seal does mean you can showcase your talent this year and sword edge and yellow flag do mean that, uh, you know, you could have some setbacks, but taking action and not wasting time helps you keep momentum. And then, of course, hidden corpse here in uh, the relationship uh, section I put it under because it could be a secret revealed, um, you know, about your relationship that you didn't know. And so, you know, maybe you're wanting to, uh, you know, face that. OK, you might learn something new here. All right, so the snake. So if you're born in the month of May, one of these years or uh, during this time, maybe that's a little large there. <laughs> um, you are born under the zodiac sign of snake. So your focus for 2024 would be self-motivation or motive. And I remember that motivation does come from within. And sometimes we have to rescue ourselves. Um, and remember no man's island. So invite yourself along or do some solo activities, um, and just allow yourself some enjoyment. And so you might just feel a little bit more lonely this year, or you feel like you lost passion. Most of this is, um, just going to be uh, the mental aspect of things. And so, um, let's see here. And then uh, here's a robbery shawl. And so that it just could just be that you're a little more angry this year, aggressive. You just feel like on edge, you know? Um, I had to watch that. I'm the snake. So I had to be careful of that. So career in finance, um, so you get the sun star. And so sun star is a lot of problem solving issues. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things that can turn negatives to positives. And it also sheds light onto um, your issues. And so, uh, this is a yang energy, the sun, and it just represents things uh, being solved out in the open um, publicly or shining light onto things that, um, you know, need to be looked at. I'm getting everything out there, laying it all on the table. And so uh, sometimes it's just the best way to get it done, right? So intelligence star um, means you're applying knowledge this year. So it could be something where you feel, um, remember there's a difference between uh, intuitive understanding or like even street smartness and um, knowledge. And so again, you can go to college or whatever, you can uh, learn things, you can be book smart, but if you don't know how to apply those things or um, have like that savviness, then um, sometimes all you have is education. And so this is more of that applying that, that information. And then robbery, Shaw, don't get scammed. So scams might be more prevalent for this year. Um, be careful about protecting your data and putting your information in certain places. You know, make sure that you uh, are protecting yourself this year. And then a bad energy star just kind of uh, can make you feel a little bit lazy or unmotivated and also lonely. And so here again, um, putting yourself out there and just either doing some solo things or your... Um, you know, inviting yourself along because a lot of times it's a psychological. We think people don't want to be around us, but you know, we can invite ourselves, right? So, um, sky emptiness does represent a little bit of unhappiness in your relationship. So you just might feel a little unsettled. So it could be a good year to work on that. Uh, maybe somebody's you know traveling a little more, or they're out of pocket a little more, working more, and sometimes that can just uh, make us feel a little lonely and unhappy in our relationship. That's okay. And, but you do have the sky happiness, which does represent happy events, childbirth, party celebrations, um, or even a new relationship for the single snake. And then of course we have the sun star, which can help you solve problems, not just in career and finance, but also in your relationship and even your health. So it's just shedding light onto all those issues. And the horse. So for if you're born under the zodiac sign of June, one of these years, or during the hours from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., you're born under a zodiac sign of horse. And so for you, your focus can just be staying positive, self-motivation, and avoid overthinking. So be cautious of physical risk-taking also. 
and um, your health. So Calamity Star does uh, mean you should avoid taking risks that could result in accidents. And so just be, being cautious of that. Um, the blood knife, schedule a surgery, the dental visit, or donating blood. So just kind of like I talked about earlier with that, uh, the dragon. Um, so you can donate blood or schedule something that you've been needing to get done, okay? So the earth door and funeral door does represent more of a psychological effect and a thoughts about mortality. And so it just might be a year where you're like, you know, maybe I need to plan my will or what's going to happen when I, you know, when I'm gone. Like, I think we all just kind of, we all have time. We kind of think about that, right? Um, you know, where are our kids going to be? What are we going to do? How are we going to, you know, how can we still be there for them when, when, when we're gone, right? And so maybe it's a year you might want to plan out uh, your funeral or plan some different things like that. And then career and finance, you do have the heavenly relief star. So overcoming and solving problems. And again, the turn into negative into a positive energy can go far for you this year um, because there's not a whole lot of stars. You do have the instability star, which uh, can represent insecurity, especially in a, a relationship. So, um, you know, make sure you're working on that with your partner. And if you feel insecure, be sure to talk to them. So separating it does uh, symbolize that relationships can end. And that's not necessarily a romantic relationship, but it could also be friendships or you just find yourself um, distancing yourself from previous uh, friends, you know. And red chamber for the single uh, horse could represent hookups or short term, what they call the situation ship. So that's up to you. <laughs> All right. So the goat uh, or sheep, if you're born in in, in July, um, in one of these years or during this time here, your focus for 2024 could be performance. Um, you do need to make sure make sure you are double checking your work and taking your time on it um, because you could have a hasty performance and um, solve problems, but don't invent problems that aren't there. <laughs> Because we do, we do that sometimes, right? So again, more of a psychological effect with the six killings under your health here. Um, psychological, and it's more of like a second guessing yourself where you do something, you're like, oh, wait, did I make the right decision? So just make your decisions and know that you, it's, it's the correct one, okay? So heavenly noble, helpful people and problem solving that will bring to you this year. So that is a very good energy. And then hook spirit and piercing rope. Hasty or poor work performance could, again, get you a little bit in trouble. So really try to be cautious of what you're putting out there and double check your work, you know, double check, double, double check everything, double check your numbers. And the moon star does represent problem solving, but more in the quiet, whereas the sun star is the uh, the yang energy that solves problems. The moon star is the yin energy that solves problems. And it's like a, under the table type of um, a situation. Like instead of going to court, you're uh, going to a mediation to quietly make a deal. Okay. <laughs> and so uh, here uh, again, moon star could be used in your relationships. So it could be used for uh, your relationship issues and six killings. So um, that's kind of that thing. Don't jump to conclusions or make assumptions um, that aren't there. Don't, you know, if it's in a relationship or don't automatically jump into accusing somebody of something. Okay. And that could also be uh, in career and finance. So uh, keep your eye out for that. So the monkey, if you're born in August, uh, one of these years or uh, between the hours of three to 5 PM, your focus for 2024 could be uh, focusing on your goals, and ignoring the naysayers. So the monkey uh, should avoid traveling during bad seasonal weather because of the earth killing star. It won't kill you, but it does represent um, usually a weather occurrences or getting caught in something like you're, you're, you get caught in a, a landslide or you get caught in a snowstorm or something. So it's more about the earth conditions uh, preventing you from getting through when you're traveling. Don't know. <laughs> just just the way it is. <laughs> so career and finance, your three stages star achievement and reaching an audience. Um, so if you uh, you know are one that's looking for recognition, um, this could really benefit you this year because it does represent that achievement and uh, kind of that branching out and uh, just reaching more people. 
Uh, five ghosts it does uh it's kind of a distraction or a pettiness star so stay focused and recognize they're, they're just distractions and again the connotation uh, with the, these two with a back poking star does represent slander or gossip or you know the cheese man right uh relationships um so don't listen to other people's opinions about your relationship so i think we start listening to somebody's you know opinion there you know oh i don't like so and so or did you hear this about them? Then, you know, ignore that. So the rooster, if you're born in September, one of these years or the hours between 5 to 7 p.m., your focus for 2024 can be, and your investments could be a good investment year for you. Um, do be sure to keep track of finances and put your best foot forward. Um, get a makeover. So that doesn't have to be, um, you know, makeup or doing your makeup more, but like, um, sprucing up your appearance, getting a new wardrobe, you know, buying a few pieces. Maybe you buy something that you've been wanting. Um, I know I did like last year, I did my uh, permanent eyebrow, you know, some, get some permanent makeup, you know, get a little Botox, get a little lip filler, you know, get the, get those things done. If you've been wanting to get it done, uh, the rooster, because you do have these, uh, energies over here, which I'll get to in just a second. Um, but a lot about attracting uh, people to you this year. So um, health, do be careful um, because the the, uh, the cascading clouds could have you feeling sad or depressed, or lonely. Uh, it just represents like a sad time, you know. And so um, more of an emotional thing here. And then we have earth relief, which does represent just confronting health issues head on. Um, so it is uh, a relief stars that says, and it's supposed to help you with um you know, just, uh, I guess uh, these issues kind of come to a head and you are able to confront them. So uh, also for career finance, it does represent investments in property um, because it is earth relief. You could have some good investment um, this year. And so that could be either housing or finance or uh, whatever you put your uh, money into could be quite good for you this year. Abundance charm, financial gain, enjoying the good life because it is, again, like it says, abundance. Um, but you do want to avoid the, you know, overspending and keep track of your accounts. Um, and sometimes things will break and it'll just be like annoying things like, why did my toaster break? And then my, you know, microphone broke and then my toilet broke. You know, it'll be some things like that, like things just kind of breaking down. Um, because that the small consumer just represents spending money. And sometimes, uh, you know, so we do want to plan our, our purchases. So if we kind of plan and upgrade some things within our home, uh, maybe some small things we've been wanting to um, kind of change around, then that will take care of that energy for us. And death charm, ending of a jet, uh, sorry, death charm, ending of a job or a project. And so that just means something coming to a close. And then of course the peach blossom can be used uh, for career because it just makes us more charismatic and attracting uh, people around us. It's like um, maybe they, you know, just see something in you this year. And so that's why I said, maybe get a little bit of makeover, spruce up your wardrobe um, or have some beauty services done. You know, maybe you just, uh, maybe get some facials done or, you know, get a new skincare routine or upgrade your makeup or something um if you're if you're a man you know get get uh some manly uh things done here uh man makeover <laughs> so relationships um uh, the peach blossom does represent romance um and but the connotation of the salty pool could mean a short-term hookup or that situation ship again as they call it um and so sometimes this isn't a long-term energy but more of you know, a thing, maybe you just want to get out there and you start, you know, dating and you're just looking to go on a few dates. Perfect for that. Um, death charm could represent the ending of a relationship though, or taking others for granted. And so perhaps, uh, that, you know, represents more of the short term because, you know, maybe it's just a short term type of thing. Not all relationships go the distance, right? <laughs> okay. So the dog, if you're born in October, one of these years or uh, the hours to seven to 9 PM, your focus for 2024 can be the uh, self-motivation and positive thinking, uh, planning your purchases. And then of course you do have the clash with the Thai soy. Um, that is the year breaker. And uh, you can find relief during the months of 
February, March, and June. Uh, because there's a zodiac signs of the rabbit, tiger, or horse. And then do be cautious in October when uh, during the dog month and then in April during the dragon month. All right, so uh, these, uh, let's see here, there's dog, October. Um, yeah, health. So the obstacle star, it can, it's more of a mental thing too. So focus on mental and self-help because self-doubt can kind of take over. And I feel like when self-doubt takes over that, just, it kind of can set us back, you know? It can kind of set us back. All right, so the dog for October again, looking at the obstacle star, more of a mental thing. So self-doubt can kind of take over. And when that happens, um, sorry to repeat myself here. Uh, the, we're the only ones that can get us through it sometimes. You know, we're the only ones that can kind of uh, focus on that, um, you know, how we're feeling and we can fix that. We can overcome that uh, by just kind of focusing on, you know, that mental mental strength there, right? Um, so career and finance, uh, even though you do have the clashing energy for the year, you do have some really good stars like national treasure. Uh, so recognition or being in the public view. Um, so that that can be really good for you. And it's more about um, the recognition than it is about uh, finances. So it's more about like maybe you win an award, but really not uh, backed up by uh, any financial gain, but the recognition is nice. And so some things we have to be careful of is the year breaker. So expect the unexpected and have self-awareness. Um, sometimes energy can be, we can be the one that, that clashes people, you know, uh, the greater consumer. So you may find yourself um, overextended a little bit or large things break. Maybe you have planned a large purchase this year, which could be, you know, maybe you're upgrading your car or your home, you know, buying a new home. Um, those can be things represented by the greater consumer. Usually it's a pretty large purchase. And then leopard tail. So do be careful about offending others and coming across the wrong way. And just be careful about what you say and avoid controversial subjects just to, and to avoid offending. And so I think we all know somebody that is like, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm just being honest, but you're not really being honest. You're just being a jerk, right? Um, yeah. And so it's one of those type of things. You don't have to say things sometimes. Sometimes it's best to just uh, keep our mouths closed. <laughs> and then uh, as far as relationships go, distancing, distancing yourself from negative people uh, because of this obstacle star. And so um, that negativity kind of rubs off sometimes, you know, and we are kind of left feeling like sometimes we don't want to be around certain people, you know. So distance yourself. <laughs> so for the pig. Uh, if you're born in November, or one of these years, or uh, during the hours of uh, 9 to 11 p.m., uh, your focus for 2024 can just be forging ahead. Sometimes progress is slow, but as long as you keep moving, you're not standing still, you know, sometimes some years go, uh, go better for us. Uh, beware of imposter syndrome and focus on your mental health. Um, so the, the, the pig or the, the boar, uh, sign it does tend to be a little bit more of um a kind of a sad uh zodiac sign to begin with it's uh yin water and so the yin water is like a, a little rain cloud you know and it's uh a very fast to move and shift and um uh, i know people that are born under this zodiac especially in their day and their hour uh do tend to be a little bit more um sometimes pessimistic i suppose or just uh get can get sad or sensitive very easy and um so do be cautious of that and so again just that's kind of amplified this year by this heavenly adversity so psychological feelings of bad luck or blaming bad things on fate you know and sometimes the year just the time just goes that way sometimes and then here we have the death god, which can just represent insecurity and not dying, thank God. And then uh, career and finance here, the emperor star helps you resolve situations and turn those negative into positive situations. Um, and so things might start looking bad, but it will work out for you. It's kind of that, that same thing, that uh, psychological feeling of like, why isn't anything working out for me, you know? And so, but it can, it'll work out for you, okay? With the aid of the emperor star. Then we have the dragon virtue, which just represents putting plans into action, power, authority, and status. And then uh, here's why we need to keep forging ahead and just looking forward here. If you're born under the pig, 
Um, brutal defeat, and then of course the death god. Um, but brutal defeat, it just represents, I mean, they sound so so terrible, but it just represents things going wrong or obstacles and setbacks. And sometimes we sabotage ourselves, right? Sometimes we have that energy where we are stopping ourselves from making progress. So do be cautious of that. And then um, death god, loss of personal items um, or stalling when you experience the setbacks. And so again, sometimes it's we experience a setback and then we just let it take over and then we just, it just kind of snowballs and then we're not doing anything, you know, so we want to avoid that. And then um, here in relationships, uh, the red matchmaker. So even though you do have all these, good, these things going on, um, you at least do have the red matchmaker and it does represent a long-term relationship or taking your relationship to the next level. And so if you're um, engaged, maybe you get married or maybe you just, just get engaged this year, but it's just kind of that thing where it's a, more of a serious long-term, um, type of energy. And then the death God just kind of represents the insecurity. Um, or maybe you just feel things, oops, uh, feel things are, are stagnant in their relationship. Um, but they should make some progress and, it uh, might speak to more of your insecurity. And of course, I do, I have, I put up the um, free download. So it's already up. You just have to go to the website. And I did put it under a, um, like a subscription, but it's free to look at just so I can grab some email addresses. <laughs> um, and uh, I won't spam you. I promise I only do uh, maybe like one email a month. So not too bad. So if anyone needs personal reading, um of course, contact me directly, learn feng shui now uh, at gmail.com. Um, or of course, I usually do the most impacted zodiac signs on the monthly energy updates for um, for each month. So you can check that out too at learnfengshui.com and of course, learn, learn feng shui podcast. Mm -hmm.